For the best prices and service on Pokemon TCG singles and products, check out ccgcastle.com and use promo code EVOLUTIONARIES-5 for 5% off your next order. What's up, Pokemon fans? I'm Professor K for the Pokemon Evolutionaries, and I have something really exciting for you guys. I didn't think we'd ever be able to find these things again. These are really, really old, and I have to give a big shout out to Corner Magic Gaming Center for giving me a really good price on these. Uh, they didn't have to, and I just told them, you know, that I was interested in them, recognized my channel name, and I was like, well, I can definitely give you guys a shout out at least uh, for opening these things up, and they are super cool. Now, this store has a lot of stuff on eBay, so I recommend checking them out. So again, Corner Magic Gaming Center on eBay. Um, I mean, I can't wait to see if we get something really cool out of these because there are some really old packs in here that can yield some pretty expensive cards. We've opened these up before on the channel, but again, like as time has gone on and the popularity of Pokemon has spiked, these have become harder and harder to find as the months and even years have gone by since the last time that we opened these things up. So I'm really excited to see what happens to be in this particular set. Uh, I actually purchased multiple sets, and I, I can't, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with all the sets just yet. But um, I want to open up at least one, so we're going to give this one a shot and see what we get. Now, you guys are probably sitting here wondering, what in the world are we looking at right now? Because a lot of this stuff was around way before most of you guys might have even gotten into Pokemon. So we're going to take a look at these one by one here. Um, first of all, we have three different boxes. We've got the Piplup. Chimchar and Turtwig classic trio tins. They call them tins. Even though they're not really tins, they're boxes, but they're known as the classic trio tins. So I'm just gonna grab one and show you guys the box. All three of them are the same otherwise. Um, of course, just the fact that they are different Pokemon on them. So this one is the Piplup card, or Piplup box, tin, whatever you wanna call it. I'd still call it a box. Um, it has a Piplup promotional card inside from Diamond and Pearl and also some packs. So let's take a look at the back of the box. Get three times the fun with the Classic Trio box. Okay, so they put box on the box. Every listing I've ever seen has said Classic Trio tin. I don't know why. So maybe that's where I was confused, but yes. Okay, it's a box. The Pokemon TCG Classic Trio box puts some great releases in your hands with two Classic EX series booster packs. That is where we're talking about the possibility of pulling something valuable. One Diamond and Pearl series booster pack and three, one of three popular Diamond and Pearl Pokemon foil promo cards, Turtwig, Chimchar, or Piplup. Collect them, trade them, trade them, but don't miss them. So this, like I said, this is a pretty old box. It comes all the way back from 2009. So, I mean, we're almost in 2018. So this is like a nine-year-old box. Pretty crazy. But I'm hoping that the EX series packs will give us something that will definitely make up for everything here. So, without any further ado, let's get let's get our first box opened up here and see what we can get out of this box. All right, so there's Piplup ready to go. Let's tilt this camera down so we can get into opening mode here. We'll throw that to the side for now. Now, these are pretty cool. They actually open up in a very unique way, uh, something that we haven't seen for a long, long time. And they actually have a tab here, a tab here, and a tab here. Neat packaging. All right. So here is the Piplup card. Now, all it is is just the Diamond and Pearl base version of this card. It's just got the holographic pattern, which we all know how much I love the holographic pattern of Diamond and Pearl. This looks really, really nice. Um, and, and I, I'll say it again. Like, I just feel like this era really did holographic cards correctly. So there's that. We'll take that out later because I don't want to damage that card. And we'll focus on the packs. So in this box, we've got EX Power Keepers, EX Crystal Guardians, and Diamond and Pearl Mysterious Treasures. Now, I'm going to open up Mysterious Treasures first because it is not an EX era pack. Now, granted, yeah, Crystal Guardians and Power Keepers aren't known for the most uh, prestigious Gold Star cards. But nonetheless, they are still pretty uh, pretty hard to come by. So for Diamond and Pearl, the pack trick is going to be three and two. For these, it's going to be two, I believe. We've got a Larvitar, Spinarak, Murkrow, my arch nemesis. <sighs> Man, Jerkrow. Nidoran, Seal, Quillaval, Quillava, Shieldon, Fossil Excavator, Reverse Hollow Typhlosion, and a Mr. Mime, Non-Hollow Rare. All right, let's try the EX Crystal Guardians pack next. But yes, if you guys missed that Twitch stream, 
we had a Murkrow that would not be caught. It was just brutal. All right, so if, given the fact that there could potentially be gold stars in this, we're only going to do two to the front because I don't want to risk putting any further damage to whatever this last card might be. So we've got a Warp Point, Gulpin, Trico, Metatite, Squirtle, Electrike, Krabby. Our Reverse Hollow is a Lombre, which is an uncommon. Neat thing about this era is that the Reverse Hollows had the set symbol or set name in the corner there, which actually confused some people in, into thinking they were like promo cards. I actually once had a seller that um, was buying Reverse Hollows, and I put these in there, and they were like, we don't take promotional cards. And I was like, um, that's a Reverse Hollow, and they didn't believe me. So, just a funny thing. And a Marsh Stomp, non hollow rare. Say what? Uh, why is a Marsh Stomp a rare? That's really weird. I never realized that about that set. Marsh Stomp, a rare? All right, we'll just go with it. <laughs> okay, let's try Power Keepers next. I'm glad that that's not the rare because that card is pretty wrecked. All right, here we go. We've got a Shellgon, Nuzleaf, Magnemite, Kabuto, Baltoy, Aeron, Mysterious Fossil, Energy Removal 2, which is our reverse, and a Magneton, non hollow rare. Ew, so we did not do so well on those, unfortunately. What do we got here? This is the older stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah, we didn't do quite so well on that one, unfortunately. No hollows or anything out of the Piplet box. Let's try our luck with the Chimchar box. Maybe Chimchar will be a little bit nicer to us if we're lucky. Let's get the plastic off. I'm just going to open this back here because it's a lot easier than doing it in front of the camera. All right. So that's off. That goes over there. And that goes over there. Okay, so here is our Chimchar. This is the holographic one. Like I said, this is just the uh, the common as a hollow foil version for Chimchar of Diamond and Pearl base. And our packs here are, okay, two of the same. Crystal Guardians, Power Keepers, but this time we have Diamond and Pearl Secret Wonders. So let's see what we get out of the Secret Wonders pack first. All right, three and two. And we've got a Nidoran, Diglett, Bulbasaur, Corsola, Spinda, Professor Rowan, Breloom, Curlia, Reverse Hollow is an Absol, which is a rare, and a Weavile, non hollow rare. Although it is kind of cool to see a water, or AKA ice type, Weavile in the TCG. All right, we're gonna try Power Keepers once again. If it wants to open up pack's been sealed for quite a while. Actually, how old is this pack? Now that I'm thinking about it. I can't even remember when this was printed. Uh, 2007, so this is an 11-year-old pack. Pretty, uh, pretty old. Alright, there we go. Two to the front. So we have Scott. Anorith. <laughs> Duskull. Chinchu. Slackoth. Metatite. Charmander. Reverse Hollow is a Machamp, which is a rare. Now, another thing, too, about the Reverse Hollows is that if it has a Hollow Form version in the, the pack itself, the text is gold in the um, here and also in the HP area as well. And that is pretty darn neat. And... Oh, cool, we got a Hollow. Blaziken is our Hollow in this one, so we finally managed to do something right here, at least holographic in this one, with a Blaziken Hollow. We cut our streak of non hollow rares. Finally. <laughs> All right. EX Crystal Guardians up next. Crystal Guardians. One of the last EX sets in general. No, Power Keepers was actually. I think Power Keepers was now that I think about it. But Crystal Guardians was definitely towards the end. Ivysaur, Nuzleaf, Wingull, Trico, Delta Species, Cacnea, Mudkip. Charmander, Delta Species, Reverse Hollow Rare Metacham, again, that is a hollow in the set as well, as you can see by the gold text, and an Iggly Buff, non hollow rare. Hmm. So this has a Poke Body and a Poke Power. I don't know if there's any other cards out there that have that, because I'm not familiar with the era in the TCG 
but uh, this has both. Hover Lift, you pay one colorless energy less to retreat your Jigglypuff, Wigglytuff, Ig Wigglytuff EX, and Igglybuff. And then Baby Evolution, once during turn before you attack, you may put Jigglypuff from your hand onto Igglybuff, counts as Evolving Igglybuff, and remove all damage counters from Igglybuff. Hmm. Rather interesting how the baby Pokemon mechanic works sometimes. All right, this is our last box here for this video, and it is the Turtwig uh, Classic Trio box. Can we manage to get anything else out of this? One Hollow out of two boxes so far, six packs, not the best ratio, unfortunately. Hopefully, this one has a little bit better of a turnout for us. It would have to get two Hollows or better to really even out the odds of one and three. All right, so... Here's the Turtwig. As I said, same situation. Uh, this is uh, also from Diamond and Pearl Base, just given the holographic treatment. Makes it look really nice, in my opinion. So put that there. We got another Secret Wonders. And EX Power Keepers Crystal Guardian. So it looks like we get the same no matter what out of the last two packs. But the Diamond and Pearl pack can vary. All right, so this is a three and two pack. We've got a Magmar, Psyduck, Carvana, Hopip, Clefairy, Pinsir, Roseanne's Research, Unknown N. Reverse Hollow is a Burmy. That's a Trash Cloak Burmy. And a Wormadam Trash Cloak. <laughs> so uh, these two go together pretty well. That's interesting. All right. Last two chances to get something cool. EX Power Keepers. EX Crystal Guardians. Let's see if Power Keepers has anything for us. We'll start with that one. Come on, Power Keepers. Show us some love. Two to the front. Hmm. Interesting. We've got a Laron, Sydney Stadium, Root Fossil, Kabuto, Shuppet, Slack Off. We got a Chinchu. Reverse Hollow is a Combuskin, which is an uncommon, which is funny because we have the Blaziken over there. Um, and our final guard. Oh, yeah! Metagross EX! All right, our first ultra rare comes from EX Power Keepers. Metagross EX Magnetic Redraw. Once during your turn before you attack, Metagross EX is your active Pokemon. You may use this power. Each player shuffle his or her hand into his or her deck, then each player draws four cards. Can't be used if Metagross EX is affected by a special condition. That is awesome. Metagross EX. Very cool. It's funny because. The last time I think we opened up these boxes, we got an EX from uh, Power Keepers as well. So just keeping that tradition alive, I think it was actually a Blaziken EX, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, hey, we're keeping it going. Metagross EX, last pack. Crystal Guardians, can we end it with a bang? I mean, it'd be, not, it'd be really cool to see two, two um, Ultra Rares. All right, so we've got Crystal Beach, Ivysaur. Bulbasaur, <laughs> Spiro, Cacnea, Squirtle, Torchic. Lots of starter stuff. What in the world is happening? Okay, let's just take a minute to appreciate the fact that five, so far anyways, five of the eight cards that we've pulled out of this box have been starter Pokemon or their evolutions. And our final card is a Dusclops, non-hollow rare, but that's pretty cool. We got Bulbasaur, <laughs> Reverse Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Squirtle, and Torchic. All starting Pokemon. That is pretty neat. All right, guys. Well, it is a little bit worse than average pool ratios for this, for this older box, but just the simple fact that we had the chance to open this up is pretty darn cool. So again, I mean, hey. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> no gold stars, but I'd take, I'll take a Metagross EX. That's pretty nice. And the holographics from these eras, again, have been really, really nice looking. So I definitely am happy. But uh, there you have it, guys. That's going to do it for the Sinnoh Classic Trios. Uh, the Star Classic Trio Box. Yeah, Classic Trio Box. Got to get it right. <laughs> So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Again, it is kind of cool to go back and see these older cards being open. So uh, hopefully you guys appreciate it as much as we have fun doing it. Even if they are some of the more expensive things out there. Granted, like I said, we got a really good deal on this. Um, but nonetheless, it's still definitely pretty pricey. So uh, if you want older stuff, that's the price you pay. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more TCG content, and remember to check out the Mafuba Jar for Dragon Ball Super content over there. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care and have a great day.